Welcome to Studio Wildfur. I'm Tails. Today I'm continuing building this adventure module. In part one I started off building this adventure module by fleshing out what is the overall surface building that the players are going to be investigating. Now I'm adding in the grass so that the adventurers can approach the building from different directions rather than just walking straight in the front door they could possibly climb in through a window. It is important to fill in the entire map canvas with artwork. Any map canvas that is not filled in when exported will be exported as the color black. Now that the whole area is filled in, we can begin looking at finishing up the rooms, putting in doors, features, furniture, props and objects. This is also when it's a good time to create a props and objects folder to put all of the, the feature props that we're about to add into the, into the rooms. The first room I'm going to start with is the big main room out the back. This is where the, the cultist will do his sermonizing. This is where he has his religious artifacts on display and he has benches set up so that the, the parishioners can come sit down and listen to him speak. We'll have a lectern here with a book on it. The altar itself is basically just a large cabinet and it has you know, a metal urn, candelabras, and a few bits and pieces that we can, we can write descriptions for in the, the notes. Next up is the entrance hall, the, the, the large hall on the left side of the building. This is where parishioners who come to this little shrine can gather, meet, before they go into the main room out the back and where they're sermonized. Just quickly whipping around the building, adding in some lights, putting in some lanterns out the front, and some candelabras down throughout the building. These banners may be a good little feature piece. I could put them out the back in the, the hallway or out the front. This meeting room is just going to be a large open room. It'll have benches on the side of the walls. Uh, there's a little desk where a clergyman could take donations. This secondary room in the middle, it's a little spare storeroom. This is the bedroom of the monk or the, the head cultist. So he lives in this building. He lives in the building that he works in. So he, he runs the entire thing and he lives here to provide its own security as well. So he's got a little desk that he can ride on, he's got cabinets where he keeps his personal things and he's got a chest where he keeps his valuables. Looking around the adventure map I've decided I just need to add in some little little feature items here and there. A crate there, or a you know, clothes basket there, a light or a little uh, ornamental urn in a corner. Now I'm looking at how I can build out this personal little meeting room. This is where the cultist does his one-on-one -on -one business. You know, he's got business leaders who come in and they want a blessing or something like that. Now that this map is ready to go with its props and objects, it's time to export. So we just hit the little export button down the bottom, save out a JPEG, and we load into Photoshop for a little bit of tweaking. Staircases that descend down into the ground, I like to add in a bit of gradient shadowing to show that it's going down into, sh into darkness. I'm experimenting with light. I had the idea that I would add in lighting effects for each of the candelabra, but then I thought, nah, I don't need to do that. I can add lighting effects in Fantasy Grounds. That is all the editing that needs to be done in Photoshop, so we save it a JPEG and load it back into the campaign. In the next part, I'm going to be going down the stairs and building the catacombs, and maybe there'll be a hidden shrine down there. Thanks for watching.